Hey, it's H.J. <laughs> now I'm serious. Hey, what's up? It's H.J. And if you absolutely have no idea what to change in your life in this new year, I can help you out. These are good ones, in my opinion. Be kinder to yourself. We can be so down on ourselves. No joke. Three days ago, I went to Forever 21 and I tried on like a bodycon dress that I was gonna cover with like a big jacket. I looked at myself and I was just like, I literally look like a potato. Cause it was a potato colored dress on top of that. And I sent it to my friend, Abby. And I was just like, Abby, I look like a potato. And she was like, it's all right, girl. All real women look like potatoes. That was nice, Abby, that was real nice. But for real, we just need to be kinder to ourselves. Say, you know what? I look like a dang good potato. I look like a delicious potato. You don't have to nitpick everything about yourself. Whenever you're this close to the mirror, of course you're gonna notice every single imperfection. Normal people that look at you, look at you as one whole person. You are looking at individual things, but I promise everybody else isn't. We're so busy focused on our individual things, we don't have time to look at your individual imperfections. So just be kinder to yourself and back away from the mirror. Like you don't have to be this close to the mirror choosing everything that sucks about yourself all the time. Don't do that. Okay, so studies show that money spent on experiences versus physical things bring you more happiness. Choose experiences over things. So if you want to go to your favorite concert, this is your favorite artist, and it's $60 for a ticket, but you're like, oh my gosh, I can't go because I spent $60 in nail polish last month. Doesn't nail polish make you as happy as your favorite artist would be standing right in front of you, dripping sweat, singing your favorite song. It's like you could zone everybody out and it's just you two in the room, but you chose to spend $60 on nail polish. It's probably all gonna go bad before you even use it all. Spend your money on experiences. You know, go to the beach, take that trip, take your mom out for lunch, spend it on other people, do things that enrich your life and let you spend more time with people and enjoy the things that you love more than just things. In 2017, let's spend our money on experiences, not things. Okay, for my Christians watching this video, which I'm pretty sure is the majority of people watching this video, but for my Christians, serve in your church. Christ says that we are all separate body parts, he uses this analogy, to make up one person. We're all different members for one body. So use your gifts and talents that he's given you to serve other people, to love other people, to worship God through your gifts and your abilities, and that's how the church works. The arms, and the legs, and the ears, and the nose, and the worship leaders, and the people who prepare the food, and the people who serve in the children's church, and the pastor, and the prayer warriors, and the counselors, we all come together and we make the body of Christ. So serve your body well. God did not give you the church to just serve you and feed you for you to just sit there and get fat on amazing godly truths and not do anything back in return. You have to pour out, you have to serve, you have to disciple, you have to give, you have to love. And so if that's you and you have never served in your church, you don't even really wanna become a member because that's too like attachment. Like no, that's not what God meant whenever he made the body of Christ. Your body, and I promise, it is ultimately to be obedient to Christ and it is for other people, but when you serve and you love other people, it really changes you and it really helps to sanctify you and it helps to grow you and just change you more into the image of Christ. So 2017, serve your church. Okay, everybody hates this one and you don't wanna hear it, but come on guys, we're getting older, eat healthier. Just eat something green every once in a while. I'm not saying you have to go health nut crazy, but I'm serious. 80% of how you feel and your body and everything is how you eat. Like you could just eat better and not even work out and just all around be a healthier person and look better and feel better and everything, so. Don't eat things from a box every day of your life all the time. Cook something with real nutrients in it. I promise you'll feel so much better. I promise, I promise. relationally. If you like this person and you have been with this person,
for three years? What are you doing? Marry them. Marry them already. Like you're planning your life. You, your life is already all together. Everything is together. Just marry the person. Or if you've been with this person, but you really don't like them and you're just with them because you don't want to break their poor little heart. Hearts mend like we will be okay again. We will survive. Stop playing games relationally or maybe you just don't want to settle down and you want to talk to her and her and her and ooh, here she's new but she's cute too, let's talk to her. No, don't do that. Like stop playing games because you're hurting everybody else around you and you're hurting yourself too and it seems all fun until everybody else is married with kids and you're still playing games and you're like 45, nobody wants that. Be intentional with people in time. Anytime you're with somebody or even if you're by yourself, make sure whatever you're doing, you're thinking, um, you're participating in is building you up spiritually and just physically. Like you can't just sit around and do nothing all your life. Like be intentional with your hours and your day. Make sure you're working hard and you're working diligently unto Christ. Look somebody in the face and talk to them. Like, how was your day? How was your week? I've had conversations with people that at the end of the conversation I realized I gained no new information about them. I in no way deepened our relationship. I in no way honored Christ. And I was so unintentional. We just sat there, kind of randomly talked about something we did that day while on our phones, took a picture. That was it. Thanks for watching. I hope you can implement some of this stuff into your 2017. I feel like I'm gonna be different by the end of the year and I want other people to have grown also. So if you like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please share it on your Facebook, your Instagram, your Twitter, everywhere, anywhere. And yeah, let's just share it with other people so that they can grow as well. And I love you guys. Make sure to subscribe. I do post two times a week. You guys are the bomb. I love you guys and work hard. Love Jesus. You guys are awesome. I'll see you in a few days.